Hi, it's time for 1214A. Artwork lovingly provided by Charizard915. Before I get to the important stuff, there are 14 small announcements I have to make, including 9 apologies and 5 shoutouts. 9 apologies? How did you rack up 9 apologies? Listen, I don't even know. Anyway, announcements are boring, so I can keep the announcement time to about a minute if each announcement is, um... 5 seconds. Okay, here we go. 1. Sorry for abbreviating Chow Chat as that word. I didn't know it was considered a swear. Call it Chow or Huat instead. 2. I called the creator of 12 Fan Central her, but he's a boy. I got it wrong because both of his usernames have female names. 3. Last time, the Mighty Mitch's response was to be or not to be, that is the question. I said it was from Romeo and Juliet, but it's from Hamlet. Oops. 4. Hazel Cricket noticed the green region of the new results format was one contestant too high. That'll be fixed in the next episode. 5. Some people complain the new reveal format was too slow and boring. It'll be faster next time. 6. Kyle Azorko said keep 12 simple. Don't worry, the confessionals will always be rapid fire and the new images are easy. 7. The 1213 leaderboard had a bug. Sam Billinger's responses were flipped. It's supposed to be like this. 8. In Twilight I eliminated Geometry Dash Demon So Demonic for this response, but that wasn't their legit entry. Oops. 9. M and I Tron Crusher's book color is wrong. Let's fix it. Whoosh. On to shoutouts. 10. Alex Lion 0511 started a mini Twilight on the Discord chat and they won it. The prize was Juicy Carrots and his friendship. 11. I'm Demi Pixel and I created a Twilight bot for the Discord so that any of you can play rapid mini Twilights. Go check it out. 12. I hosted a mini Twilight with that Twilight bot and guaranteed the winner a shoutout. YJ won with this response. 13. My brother Michael created a booksona generator. Go find out what you'd look like as a 12 hour. 14. Alex Lion 0511's drawing reached 22 upvotes on the subreddit, so it gets a shout out. These images are also cute. Finally, I am so glad that's all out of the way. On to the big stuff. So last time, I let the 18 remaining towers redesign their books and say a confessional to the viewers. Let's see their new makeovers. Alex Lion 0511 used to look like this, but now looks like this. He says, I am a generic human being, how did I make it this far? Crafty7 used to look like this, but now looks like this. Crafty 7's confessional is, it's so exciting to get this far. It's cool to think that in Twilight 1, 20th was a great spot to get, but now, people are getting eliminated because of it. Fry UI, sorry for pronouncing your name wrong in the past, used to look like this, but now looks like a map of Vermont and New Hampshire. That's a size difference of 20 centimeters to 300 kilometers, or 1.5 million times. Hi guys! Also, stop pronouncing my name FryUAJ. That is weird. Just call me FryUI or just Fry. And I give credit to Crafty7 for showing me this awesome map. Green Tree didn't change their book appearance, but what's this? An image confessional? Joseph Howard also didn't change his book appearance, and didn't send a confessional. Mr. Twister used to look like this, but now looks like this? Sunny Side Up? And what's going on with this ultra long confessional? Ain't no tower got time for that. Midnight Light used to look like this, but now looks like this. And they've got a very alliterative confessional. Hey guys, it's me, Midnight. I love Maths, Monopoly, and Midnight the color. How about you? Mike Ramsey used to look like this, but now looks like, whoa, that's actually a pretty crazy new avatar you've got there. Very American. Anyway, Mike said, I heard some towers are selling out and are being sponsored by large companies. That's just not cool. Unlike the Coolberry Free Slurpee for only $1.95 at participating 7-Eleven convenience stores, Ping Pong Cupshot's appearance barely changed. His confessional was, lol I have no idea what I'm doing but it's fun. Uh oh 11 words! Just kidding. Corby King decided to add a top hat and said, to do well in Twow, you just have to moss. Lie in a rock, suck energy from the surrounding organisms, and contribute minimally to the good of the collective. Also helpful, submitting responses. Riley decided to add bloodstains and change the book's colors, and said, This response is very personal to me. I know there may be some people who might not like me after this. Aw, oh, Riley, I'm sure that's not true. Next, Sam Billinch used to look like this, but now it looks like this. Sam said, We're so in sync, we finish each other's. Interesting, what could that mean? Sumner the Pie Guy used to look like this, but now looks like this. And his fascination with pie definitely came out in his confessional. New Styles, will this nerd's brand new look keep him in for a few more rounds? I sure hope so. Nerdiness, pie. Spicyman33 now looks even more spicy, and said, Hey everyone, I'm Spicyman33, and I like spicy food. Surprise, right? Anyways, if you haven't, please come join the Twow Discord. I'm talking to you, Mr. Twister, Mike Ramsey, Joseph Howard, and Midnight Light. Tak Ajnan, as you've seen, three people did change their mouths, so you get that sideways three cat mouth. Anyway, Tak's confessional is high. Like Joseph Howard, Tap on H6427 kept it simple and didn't change their book appearance or submit a confessional. The Mighty Mage decided to make their book look a lot like their profile picture and said, Sandwiches. Wait, we're so in sync we finished each other's sandwiches. 
You mean Sam Midges, get it? But actually, here's what happened between Sam Billinge and the Mighty Midge. While chowing, Sam admitted he was just one person controlling both accounts. I have to say, getting two accounts from a pool of 491 down to the final 18 is quite impressive. But, a bunch of people on the flat were thinking, having two accounts gives you an unfair advantage. So, one of his two accounts should be eliminated, and everyone else below him should move up a rank. Therefore, XX Bombsoy XX, the closest eliminated contestant, should be let back in. By the way, I'm loving the hashtags. While this line of thinking does make sense, I'm actually not going to bring XX Bombsoy XX back. Why? Read this if you want to know why. But am I going to eliminate either Sam Villain or the Mighty Midge? Yeah, I am, so that all towers still in have an equal chance. At first, I was going to compare both Sam and Midge's 12-14 performance to determine who to eliminate, but that means there would be two systems of elimination happening at the same time, and that's really confusing. So, I'm just going to eliminate Sam Billinge and keep the Mighty Midge. By the way, this is the second response that Sam slash Midge ended up not using. That was a long diversion. Um, where was I? Oh right, Yasoin used to look like this, but now looks like this. Yasoin said, Hi everyone, thanks for helping me get this far. I'm glad you like board games too. I'm really nervous with Plow. So much so that sometimes I take up to an hour to think of an answer. Good luck to everyone else! We're finally done with 12 makeovers. The 14th 12 prompt was, Talk about diversity. No two words of your response can be the same number of letters. All of our remaining 17 12ers submitted a response to that prompt. So there are 20 12-14 entries. You guys should vote on how witty, hilarious, elegant, innovative, or good those responses were. Remember, you viewers can vote whether you're a contestant or not by commenting on this video. So how do you vote? Pause the video at a random spot in the green rectangle. Type the keyword you see in the upper right, space. Rank the entries from best to worst using these letters. Surround it with square brackets. Done. You can comment other stuff too, and you can vote more than once. This time, I've marked every word with its number of letters below it. Also, if two words in a response are exactly the same length, they are highlighted red. You can vote up until June 5, 2016 at 10pm UTC, but don't vote like a shiny coward, or else you'll reflect all light, thus becoming unable to absorb the warmth others bestow upon you, and you'll be cold and lonely forever. The three best voted towers will receive the double response prize for next time, and the three towers with the lowest average percentiles will perish. Finally, here are the 1214 entries. See you in 1214B! Done.